A large storm will continue to impact the United States over the next few days with more severe weather on the horizon, including damaging winds, large hail and a few tornadoes. Additionally, a big weather pattern change will be coming later this week, which will pivot where we see significant severe weather for a large chunk of the rest of June. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven to ten days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And we've had a lot of crazy storms over the last 24 hours especially across the Southern Plains, where we had a large complex of severe storms occur across parts of Oklahoma, Texas, even back into parts of Missouri, and as well as Kansas, where we had significant and almost widespread damaging winds in very populated areas, very large hail up to the size of five inches in diameter, in addition to a few tornadoes as well. The good news is, is that the storm system is starting to weaken as it moves to the east, but there will be additional severe weather left over today across parts of the Ohio Valley, even the lower Midwest, and then even back over into the east coast coast where more damaging winds hail and a few tornadoes will be possible. And here are some of the storm reports from yesterday across the United States. And we end up having scattered to numerous damaging winds, especially across parts of North and Central Texas. And we also had five tornado reports, which yesterday was not meant to be a big tornado day by any means. But one supercell back over in the Texas Panhandle actually produced just about every single tornado that we had yesterday. We end up having two tornado reports also in Virginia, but across the board, it was a little severe weather outbreak here. Nothing as significant, though, as what we were initially expecting. We thought there would be a full-blown derecho. We ended up seeing numerous damaging winds, but it wasn't nearly as widespread as forecasted, which is good news because this did impact highly populated regions. Now, we do have a little bit more severe weather in store for the next few days, and it all begins with today, which is Monday. We got a large slight risk of severe weather in place from areas like New York and Pennsylvania, back across most of the Dixie Alley and also into the Tennessee Valley, and then a marginal threat back over in the Great Lakes and another marginal and slight risk back over in the Southern Plains. The main concern for today will be damaging winds across the board. This will be mostly 60 to 70 mile per hour damaging winds that will be relatively scattered. There will be a little bit of large hail, especially out of our initial supercells during the very late morning and early afternoon. And then back over in the high plains, the threat will be more geared in the direction of the late afternoon and early evening, where we actually could get a small little mesoscale convective system that forms, but it'll be nothing like what we saw yesterday. There is also potential for a couple of tornadoes. I personally think our best chance for tornadoes will be in the southern risk back over in Alabama and Mississippi during the afternoon and early evening, where we may see a couple of tornadoes, maybe even outside of this 2% tornado risk as well. And then back over in the Northeast and Eastern Ohio, back up into near Buffalo, New York, there may also be a tornado or two. So definitely stay weather aware, have multiple ways to receive alerts and have a tornado action plan ready to go in case we do end up getting any tornado warnings in these areas. And then as we go into Tuesday, our threat of severe weather will be much lower across the entire country. We have a large marginal threat of severe weather along the mid-Atlantic region, along the East Coast, and then another marginal threat of severe weather in the Southern Plains. Generally speaking, it's just going to be isolated damaging winds and a little bit of isolated large hail, especially back over in far west Texas. There may be an isolated tornado back over to the west of Fort Stockton, but generally speaking, we're not really talking about much of a tornado threat on Tuesday. So here's the timing for today, beginning with what's happening out there this morning. we got a line of thunderstorms that'll be rolling across Kentucky and Tennessee with isolated damaging winds and a low tornado threat throughout the late morning. And then into the early afternoon hours, this line of storms will be falling apart. Really, more than anything, just strong to severe storms are still going to be a possibility will be mostly just isolated to scattered damaging winds as that moves towards areas like Chattanooga and as well as Knoxville, Tennessee. And by around 6 to 7 o'clock, those storms approach the Appalachian Mountains where they will be weakening off before eventually moving into the Carolinas. I also want to point out that a few supercells are a possibility back up into Ohio today, right around 3 to 4 o'clock. There may be a storm or two rotating, mainly with the threat of hail and wind, but there could be an isolated tornado or two going up in the direction of Pittsburgh or even western Pennsylvania. And then these storms would eventually move across parts of central Pennsylvania and western New York during the very late afternoon and early evening. Still a low tornado risk existing, but mainly a damaging wind threat, and the line of storms would fall apart just after sunset across Pennsylvania and New York. Isolated damaging winds possible, though, after sunset. And then further down to the south and east across the Dixie Alley, we are expecting scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the late morning and early afternoon. By around 5 o'clock or so, we'll have plenty of storms out there. These are just going to be sporadic storms, though. Nothing super organized. Definitely wouldn't rule out, though, an isolated tornado threat maybe out of one of these clusters in southern Alabama during the late afternoon, early evening hours. That eventually moves off to the east and there will really not be much severe weather left over as we go into Tuesday morning. Perhaps a line of storms still ongoing back over in Florida and Georgia. This would produce isolated damaging winds as it heads directly in the direction of Jacksonville and perhaps southeastern Georgia and that will be something to watch out for in the morning. But otherwise, we're really not talking about anything super substantial in terms of severe weather at least over the next 24 hours. That could change though again as we go later into this week when we start to see a different weather pattern take place. And speaking of 
our next weather pattern. Let's talk a little bit more about it, and we're going to check out the jet stream for the next few days. And right now, our jet stream is actually lifting quite far off to the north. So this is what it looks like really today into tonight. We're going to have our jet stream dipping across the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes, which is helping to amplify a little severe weather threat back over in the Ohio Valley for today. But by tomorrow and Wednesday, our jet stream is going to be lifted very far off to the north, where we're really not going to see a whole lot of activity across most of the lower 48, I think, during the middle and end of the week. The only stuff that we would be really seeing is mesoscale activity that would be mainly across the central and southern plains where some damaging winds hail and maybe a couple of tornadoes will be possible every single day here for the next several days but by the weekend is when we start to see a bit more of a different synoptic weather pattern by Saturday we are going to have this thing called the ring of fire basically take place where we have a large high pressure system across the central and southern plains and then our jet stream lifted very far off to the north and this is very typical for mid to late June usually our jet stream lifts back off to the north which prevents a lot of our severe weather from happening along areas like the Gulf Coast or even in the Southern Plains. So this should be something that naturally happens here during the middle of June, but it's also going to allow by around the middle or early portion of next week, a couple of storm systems to eject over the Rockies just above this high pressure system. And that could actually lead to some return of significant severe weather across the Northern Plains, maybe even the Central Plains and the Midwest around the early to middle portion of next week. So that's really the next big thing that we're gonna have to keep an eye on, at least in the short term. There could be something else that happens between now and the weekend, maybe some sort of, you know, a slight or enhanced risk day of severe weather where it's more based off mesoscale features but generally speaking when it comes to our subnoptic weather pattern which is our large low pressure systems we don't really have much right now that is in the forecast other than what is going to be coming up as we go into early next week which is good news it means that severe weather outbreaks or tornado outbreaks do not appear likely but it is still a possibility if we get something that is a little bit smaller a little bit more mesoscale we definitely could still see a potential for a severe weather outbreak over the next seven days but no days in particular right now look like slam dunk days for that to actually happen so to put this into more simplistic terms, this is the future radar for the next few days. As we go into tomorrow, there will be some scattered showers and thunderstorms across the southern plains and the Gulf Coast, with damaging winds hail and a low tornado risk existing. On Wednesday, we'll still have some more storms out there, mainly across the southern plains, maybe even a few storms back over in the Midwest. Could get a little localized threat of severe weather up there as well. On Thursday, more scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible across the Great Plains, but generally speaking, nothing that looks super organized right now for there to be a significant threat of severe weather. However, that could change as we get a little bit closer on Friday. We'll continue to see this active weather pattern with scattered showers and thunderstorms just in random areas on Friday. It'll be the Midwest Ohio Valley in the Southeast really severe weather should be pretty isolated on Friday. Saturday looks pretty much like the same thing. Maybe some more scattered showers and thunderstorms on Sunday and Monday basically looks the same. I think Monday is really going to be the return maybe of a, a more significant threat of severe weather across parts of the Northern Plains of the Midwest. If we get enough of a moisture pull out of the Gulf that could lead to an organized threat of severe weather. It's the big question question mark though since it is still seven days out so make sure you're subscribed to the channel we'll keep you posted with the latest if anything actually develops out of that and then beyond tuesday or wednesday of next week things become pretty uncertain but at least for now next week or two do not look super crazy it does not look like we're gonna have day after day severe weather live streams i think it's gonna be at least a little bit quieter but obviously if anything does change we will definitely let you know i do think it's gonna be still somewhat active here for the rest of june just not nearly as active as we've had it here throughout the first week of june but make sure you subscribe to the channel once again we'll keep you posted with the latest if anything does change to the forecast and we're gonna have a more detailed video tomorrow or on wednesday going more over our weather pattern that'll be impacting the united states but just a general overview for the middle of june we are expecting above average temperatures across a large chunk of the great plains the rockies and back into the southeast and then below average temperatures in the northeast and along the west coast and on the other hand if you're wondering about rainfall rates we should continue to see above average rainfall across the southern plains back through the east coast during the middle of june and then back over in the pacific southwest we are likely going to be seeing below average rainfall in those areas and as always thank you all so much for watching today's forecast if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below our next video will likely be tomorrow but if not it'll be on wednesday it just depends on if we have something big to talk about if there's nothing big to talk about tomorrow the next video will be on wednesday so make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest updates there is a low chance of a live stream also today depending on how things evolve so make sure you click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest updates